of a team. That is my personal, like, that is not the best team. One of the ones was our youth boy. He's set rated. I think he didn't have any pluses, but as you can see, he has like plus one is calm, the strike he doesn't play, plus eight is plus one there. Then he can become like a centre mid, but get the same pluses. And then you have obviously defender and goalkeeper, nothing happens. So that is, in essence, just about the plus one, and that's going to be our youth guy. So, fair enough. Here is my entire choice of players so far that I want to bring into the club. I want to the players in the pack. I do want Charlie Patino up there. I think I'd be good. Him and Al Zayt can rotate in and out. I think we're really good. Madway here, I just want to get in. Just, I want to get in right now. First, though, we will, we will do it. But first, I want to make sure we've got our team. That is going to be my like, development plan, contracts, and everything out of the park. So I don't have to you know, really be sitting there doing well again. Right, still can just go. Same with McGill. I mean, they're okay keepers, but like, really, they're not going to be here. Solly March. I think we'll keep him for a season, but I really don't see him having, like, in terms of, like, a long future. Probably not. So, what we'll just, we'll just allow him. We'll just leave it there. But our main man is Mark Kucher. He is going to be the main man at left back position. No matter what you say, he's being left back. Wait, is he got four, five, south, five, center? Am I blind? <laughs> what he did do? Like, what? Awesome. For long, I think we had to learn this. We do. Please put in the comments or chat if you're watching live any fullbacks for this. Because I'm go I have Kukurea and Lamperty, but who then? You know, I'm going to need more than what I've got. Shane Duffy, as much as I want to say yes, I think I'm going to have some skills because it's just not the players here. I mean, again, we've got Nianzu, we've got. You know, see McCann as the starters, so I don't actually have a clue. Um, so we, it doesn't matter about the Bellingham City because if they get loaned out, they're just gonna be sitting there, aren't they? Oh my god, what is this? We have just a bunch of rubbish. Oh my god, ah, why have we just got rubbish? This isn't good. Right, Lewis Dunk, a leader of men. How is he a leader of men? You know, I think Dunk, I know he's like 29 and you probably can't go out in any sense, but I think we'll just keep him on that bench. Joel Veltman, again, as much as I like him. Why? But this guy is definitely staying. He's definitely going to be our main starter. Tarek Lamptey, he's definitely going to be our starter for, Bell for Brighton. And he's going to be awesome. I think I should spoil it. But Toodle Beluga. He's not bad, you know. I don't know what his early 70s, but you know, he's 20 odd years old. He's. Got Jacob Moda. I mean, if, if you can convert to a central midfielder really quick, then yes. Yep. Yep, Beluga, Moda, you're saying. 100%, you're saying. Right, I don't know why Beluga, to be fair. I don't know, do we want two on the bench? No? I don't know, I'm so confused. I don't know, what do I do? I don't know what I do. Two door Baluda, do I just keep him or not? Because Mondra I think would be brilliant. I've got Basuma who he's got stuff. You know, I, I want Basuma to be there. As a star, you know, I, I do want to use him, and he is like, you know, as I trying to do it. This man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello, oh, hello, 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 that's what we're going to play. Weapon. Weapon. Um, I've got a key weapon, I have to keep weapon. He looks quite good though, like, for his age, like, right, really young. So in that case, Blue, I'll put you on the first list, just because, well, I don't really want to run. Kai Steedo, I think, alone. Pascal Globe. Not really. You're not, you're not really long, are you? 
I don't know that you have to go as much as I love you, mate. Oh. There's two minis in front of my buildings. There's literally just two minis in front of my buildings. This is actually mad. <laughs> this is mad. Oh my god. Should we just keep all of them? Just dunk them on the team, mate. What else is someone going to do? There is way too many. Stop. Here's the thing to get interesting. We have, oh, McAllister could definitely stay because you are very good. You are very good. Yeah. So he's a very good man. He's a bit angry, right, hopefully. Or like M. Enemy Ella. Fuck knows. This man. Abdullah. Abdullah Sima. He looks really good, though. I don't know. Because he would fix backup striker like that, he'd be brilliant. Honestly, I think he'd be good for us. I think he could be the future of us because he could play behind like in a more pay, and he could be a ringer, so he could be our winger, which I think would be brilliant. Sarmiento, um, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm recording you, with it. You, you, you come in. You come into the club. Right, right now, can you become a striker really quick? Yes, you're, you're gonna be that then. We've got Sarmiento, okay, Lone List, Emerson, well, Lone List killed like a bunch of youngsters, didn't we? Mm, get rid of you, don't we? Definitely do you, and then Morpé has got to stay. Neil Morpé has to stay. He, he's going to be the main bloke, you know, the main man, not front person in the club. Right, now I'm going to fix all of this team because we're so Exactly, there are so many of these people, I'm just going to point you bum bum boy. Right, I've got Baluda, who is, oh, I don't, who am I even putting on? I'm so confused. Right, yeah, go away. Yeah, yay. Right, so we want B. Yeah, there is a lot of rigmarole for you, you know, to go, I, I do want to go over some transfers, 100%, I, I do want that to happen. Right, it's him I've got top, you know what, grows and... Grobe and that lot can go. We might have Mwepu. Mwepu? Yay! Um, no, we'll take you off. Um, what else can we do? Well, there. Um, do we put well back on the. No, we've got a more pain than that. I can't, I can't get rid of him. That'd be just, that'd be just savage. <laughs> that would just be a bit mad. I can't lie. Um, I think it's a you then, I guess we go with Moran, which donkey one it can. And I think that might be a very, very good plan, I suppose. Well, I don't want that to be too great, I don't because, you know, why not? Oh my god, this is crazy. Well, I think now, my friend, it is time. It is time. we got Alzate and Bazuma as our starters, that is pretty nice. Yep, Seema is because he's our, he's our striker. What grows? Oh, we have too many. We have too many. What is this? Yeah, I think y'all grows. How, how old is grows? Is he really old? Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe Beluga then. Who is it, Miss? Because it was like a thousand. Modder. Yeah, modder instead of Beluga. I have you, and then I'll, I do want a winger, but let's just wait and find out. Alright. I think let's try and sign some players that we I want to put in straight away and make this team brilliant. Hundred percent, Nolly Madueke. I want to have play swap. We're gonna go try and from Dali Robek. I mean, that probably might be the worst I do. Twenty million pounds. How does that sound plus Dali Robek? You're just twenty-three million pounds and twenty percent. Yep, you know what? Fine. Yep, there you go. Yeah, I do. I want Nolly Madueke. I think he'd be brilliant. We want the crucial for a bit. Yeah, we don't want race cars, do we? No. We want race cars, do we? Right. Um, I don't know, way 40k a week? He's 19 year old, that's freaking out. I don't know, okay, there we go, we got, we got Mother AK. We've got him in. We've got this man in. What is this? Right, okay, so you come off the ground, perfect, that's really good. And instead. I want you there. Not only Madawake. He has a plus one, so I think what we're gonna do first is I want Madawake on and I wanna get his kit number. Like 
block off us. Yeah, okay. Um, yep, do you plan? And then I want him to become instantly the bit I'll wait wing. Perfect. Alright, we've got signing into the team that is. What? Um, oh, I was letting Grove on the second team tree, okay. Put weapon on then. Put some weapon. Why oh, not? That fixes the team up a lot. That's good. Right, okay. I think we'll wait for, you know, everything else. Seems a bit like I've done. So it's just, it's, it seems it's going to be mad. Yeah, we're going to have to sort those some players, you know. We're still going to have, obviously... Yeah, we're doing good. We're, we're doing really well. Yep, City's ended and now we're coming to Brighton and we're going to make them absolute monsters of Europe. We're going to do it, 100%. It would take a little bit of time, but I think this team honestly is going to be very good. Oh yeah, in time. I gave him all back, so I'm not going to use him on. Oh, we didn't. Oh, yeah, I didn't want him, did they? All money we can get, because we need to get the sim can be the most expensive. Nyan's I don't think are expensive, and Patina's like six or seven range, which is clearly not going to cost much money at all. Oh, I know what we could do for a right back. Oh, that's perfect. That's actually perfect. Oh my god, yes. That's actually so good. Cool yeah, that's such a good idea. Yeah, when we count the guns, it's beautiful. Well, no, that's not really important. He's like 63 rated, but he has like um 80 potential. Which isn't too shabby. I put in a reason to just get a bit of extra cash. You know, maybe we can get some transfers through because honestly, I just don't know. Well, only wise, we have like what we had 40 million in the beginning, we just splashed 22 million on getting mad away, okay? So, I thought I think a few player sales, you know, here and there, plus above that, the influx of cash we potentially could get from the tournament should be enough to really bolster this side for a while, which would be really good. I don't know, we'll start Patino. Kami doesn't want to start, Kami wants to start Patino because I think he'd be better if I start him in comparison to I don't. Because he'll grow quicker, because if he's on the bench, no. Yeah, I've had Jose Torsum on the bench, yeah. We'll rotate, rotate him in and out, like he's gonna. Oh, No, no, I definitely play if you're gonna wanna change in this. Um now I think I wanna actually go with searching up this guy. Yeah. I, I think he'd be actually really good. Calvin yeah, Calvin Ramsey, there we go. I bet the date thinks maybe spend two hundred points for it, you know, but it's probably a bit of a potential. We have 19 million. Oh my god, we have like no money. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Can I bring in some milk? I don't know if they know if they can come in. I don't know about the first. It's um, going to be 16 cans. I'm going to find players for percent of that. Yeah, it's good for building, maybe 10 of the pounds. There's gotta be someone they want, but they're willing to just lick off our hands. Okay, grub. We'll, we'll, give, we'll give them grub. Yo, we want to grub. That is so close. It's got to be the one. Yeah, I do want some mechanics really good, except um, wages, I think they've been the same as what we gave, not by the way, okay, because I mean, again, as a youngster like that, if you had anywhere close to that amount of money, you'd be um, very happy, I, I can't lie, you'd be cr pretty happy. No, why that get number? You're going over contracts and stuff like that at some point. Dunk, yeah, we'll take over dunk number, sorry. There we go, we've got a semi can on the scene, let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Webster is 26. Then we've got Webster, I'm gonna put you up there. I have to have lunch, guys, so I'm gonna have to leave this, leave this on for a bit, so. Yo. Yeah, look at our team, though. Team's come together. No, I'm really liking the team. Really good. Got more pay, roving, Simicam now, which is incredible. Yeah. But, well, lamp, Lampsy, Simicam, Nianzu, and Kukuria. I think we have a very good back line. Basuma, Piero, you can't murder Basuma. You can't murder Basuma. Man, this Basuma's good. Well, I, I do want to use him, but I guess I'll start the match, obviously, and then we'll just have to. Yeah. Because tournament's going to be like we're going to be a few days apart. So All smiles ahead of kickoff. What sort of impact can he have at this club? We're about to find out. Stay with us on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome to this wonderful venue on the outskirts of Amsterdam, the Johan Cruyff Arena. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And we have pre season group stage action coming right up for you. Okay. It's Brighton and Hove Albion. And they face Sassuolo. Well, thanks, Derek. This is their first pre-season game. Time for players to get their match fitness, coaches to develop tactics, new signings to be integrated, and maybe youngsters to be given a chance. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, we're quite There are a lot of players on the Oh, a perfectly timed pass. I'll pull now he's got to stay calm. Full oh, front. That's high-level oh. goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. Well, a new era begins with a new manager in charge, and it's always interesting to see how that goes. One thing we can say without any fear of contradiction is that you don't get an awful lot of time in football nowadays. No, you certainly don't. But when a new manager comes in, they come in with new ideas, and that can take time for players to adjust to. 
really poor timing and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card well the referee not messing about he's cautioned him well it had to be a yellow card and he knew it was coming
Welcome back, guys. I'm back. How much here? As you'll see here, he controls this free kick oh. brilliantly. He gets it over the wall using the inside of his foot. He gets very little, no movement okay, on it at all through the air. This is, and it's this perfectly is placed. Is An goal. outstanding goal. Well, the ball is moving once Bro, more. Sure How important will that opening goal prove like to be? 100 million pounds in the chance budget. Be I think I'm going to do one shot of it. Um, Good tackle. I think if the backup from McAllister, I think we'll have to just. Leave. Well, it is a special moment for the 16 year old, a chance to impress in his full senior you know I mean? debut. Let's I see think how I it goes for him. It, yes, because you're always taking a chance given a 16 year old his mm -hmm. debut. Yes, we know all about his talent, but a difficult game here could just dent his confidence. Oh, in with a chance. Can he convert? Okay. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Um, what's his name? Oh, yeah, Pacino. Mm hmm. Charlie Pacino. 85 pins. That's still pretty good, though, isn't it? 85 pins from six. Domenico Berardi. Wonderfully weighted pass. He's given it straight to the opposition. In the camp. Right away, okay. well, it's been difficult for Brighton to get too much of the ball so far. But I'm screaming, bro, watch it. It's been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Yeah. Can he finish it's this? the first game of the pre season tournament. A bit of pre season. Challenge. Played into the box. We've caught a free Two kick as our first goal. I thought you were. Hang on, you weren't allowed to do okay. training drills. So I don't know what happened there. And the verdict of the officials is offside. Well, he just gets caught ball watching. Yeah, here. but I said not entirely good. So I mean, off stream, you can do what you want. And be ready for the chance. Yeah, I seem consistent. You can't just, you know, have rules in your career mode, but break them off camera. Oh, it doesn't count to break them off camera. No, you can't do that. Throw in to come. My God, Brian, well, you really don't want to do anything unrealistic, do you? McAllister. Oh, close. Oh, youngster. 40 minutes in, scores a goal. Rowan, absolute hero amongst men. Well, a second goal for them here. Right. Let's go, boys. Kieran, just, just don't do them. I thought you didn't like doing them, so I don't know why you like doing them off camera. How do I go? And intercepted it. Well, no, but you're breaking the rules of your career mode that you specifically set out to not do, but you decided to break them off camera. How's that say? Yeah, you, yeah, I did. I'm pretty Quite sure I did save the United career mode. You can't do training drills. Alsace. Hey? Oh! Hoo -hoo! The first half here comes to an end. Well, do Kieran, because I think it's a bit unfair that you know I suggest don't do training as a rule, and then you break it off camera, and you think that just gets off camera. That's it. Doesn't count. Right. Yeah, that's boring. I don't do it, man. Seems to be amazing as well. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen. Well, no, because so I'm just doing whatever because I have way less subscribers begins. than you, so I don't really mind. But for you, I don't know, you just can't do anything realistic, man. The grim is so inconsistent sometimes. Mwepu. Really is. Kukurea. Well, Up to Roland. Simmer. A glorious chance. Well, Kieran, if you look at my channel, you'll find out that the Man City career mode is finished. I finished the Man United career mode. Man City career mode today means I did finish a career mode. And this is Brighton. Brand new series. So, yes, I do finish them. Thank you. Well, I think... Well, I do finish them. It's insistent. You're just going to break the rules sometimes, not break the rules. Like, make what you mind. I'll stick to the rules completely or don't. Both of them, there's no point. 
Well, I know we've both been pouring through the newspapers this morning. I literally did say John Green. Leicester are going to be adding to the squad right. in a pretty Bonk. interesting way. My the boot. All right. the figure got Rowan, our youngster on the ball. Got Seema. Seema, you're in front of Ryan, not going to lie. He's very young, but he's, he's rapid, man. He's good. Oh, we're dominating Sassuolo here. Absolute dominant. Yeah, we're doing the whole pre-season tournament, guys. This could be a good stream, very good length. You know, I want to get set up for the season. When we get when we get scout reports back for them players, we will be signing them. We'll be signing them players once we get scout reports back because we have like more money at the minute. We need some player sales to go through first anyway. Back good enough in it, Jesus. And that's a well timed pass. The canister. Kieran, for you, you would literally need the lick to save your defence. You got, you got slapping. You have slapping. Which is absolutely useless. So brilliant. Rady. Got dunk. See that. Successfully got past him. Got dunk. Got the Seema. Seema on the ball. Turn it back to McAllister. Dip it across. Medwaki's coming on the inside. Can he score? He's running up to goal now. And he shoots. 4-0. Oh, Roland puts him just wide of the post. Oh, man. Well, that's a bad miss. He had so much of the goal to aim for. Well, you want to leave your Chrome at halfway through, be my guest. Substitution time is his. Yeah, I like a Finnish City lot. Yes, I like a Finnish City today. I mean, it's hard to do them. They've got really good young talent. They've got really good potential team. I've signed some really good players. So, yeah, I'm very, very happy with the team. I, I can't wait to have a good season with them, hopefully. And it will be a throw in here. Where who? Into the final 20 minutes. Up to Basuma. Enoch and Wepu. Mwepu, Callison's coming in, great skills by him, passes it, it in, Seema's on side, gets a goal, what a finish. Seema is an absolute Brilliant legend goal. up front. Him well, and Morpé are the future, nil. they are the future of Brighton, 100%. Absolute beast. Damn. Oh hell no, I'm putting him on transfer list, but Mwepé, I don't care about him. Team as well. Team are more pay. They are, they are the, they are, they are the future of this team. They are going to be our strikers. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. My foot. McAllister. McAllister's foot oh, guys the top. Oh, well, the bench not so the keeper. That's a great save. Oh yeah, we'll get, we'll get Moder on. Why not? No, get, give him a game corner. time. What the foot was that for corner? We could sign him in United, but probably not, because you'll probably end up going, oh, I don't like him, we'll just the buy Bellingham. Weppo. Kieran, anything's better than nothing. Even a downgrade for United would be better, that because they, be they, they're just so shit. Ooh. Oh, that's unfortunate, but again, I'm not quick enough, but I'm sure we get Nianzu in there. We'll be absolutely spick and span in that defence position. Roland, doing really good skills there, well. coming in, Is it going to be? McAllister, no, oh what a goal, the flag was that was beautiful well, aggressive well, effort by McAllister, Brian and Hove Albion honestly are going to be, it's going to be a very stunning series, I All honestly right. cannot wait, well, nicely cut okay. now what can they do with the ball? Hold up. Well, totaling Weppu. up all the stoppages. Pass it up. Medway, oh, Medway, K. Oh, man. Oh, man. True, all right. Oh, brilliant work to keep that one in play. And there goes the final whistle. Victory for Brighton and Hove Albion. One absolute incredible performance there by Brighton. Very, very good performance. And, uh, you know, take it, take that mentality into the remaining of the tournament.
I mean, that'll be... Right, we'll duff it. Duffy transfer off. We get three million pounds. That'll that'll be go a long way. Any money, really, because we've got, you know, a pretty... Strange how money's bringing Ramsey, Patino and Nianzu. At least, like, 15 million pounds we would, we would need in order to secure any of them. Well, all of them. Yeah. Oh, Danny Welbeck, let's go. How much can we can get for Welbeck? Yeah, we'll, we'll send him to Norwich. That's fine. I ain't gonna use him, so he can go play over there. Do not forget to use substitutes. Okay. <laughs> Ericsson. Yeah, I'll put cream on there. I do want to get Adeyemi, 100% at some point. I do want to bring Adeyemi in the club. Right, let's go against Al Alaves. See if we can get a second victory inside of this tournament. And hopefully secure our place, guys, in Hello, the next round of the tournament. I think it'll be semi-finals, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's semi-finals. Mwepu. I'm Got Roland on the wing. On the Go on, Roland. Go on. Me Pass it up. Into Seymour. Seymour. Oh, I, look, I can't wait to see Seymour. He's going to be a phenomenal striker. He's going to be well, Derek, both teams will want to get to the knockout stage. So we'll be looking for three points here today. And it may be pre -season, Neither, because they're all too good to be United. I would say go for... Going forward into the Diogo Jota, which I thought you were going for Jota, but again, I guess not. Sanchez. No! Oh, Donk, let's go. Good, good defence by Donk. Well, I'd say don't wait for United need. Mamadou Loom. Loom. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close. <laughs> Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide see a game, that. but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, Derek, he's Rowland. certainly the man to watch. In the last Rowland's game, coming in. scored those three goals, but Mwepu. his play oh. was outstanding. He looked a threat whenever Rowland's he got, got the ball, goal. and I'm sure he's going to be the same threat today against this defence. Well, United just sell Ronaldo and get rid of him. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. We'll do a swap deal then. Seymour's on the ball. Yes, is the Absolute beautiful goal there by Seymour. Absolutely the brilliant. Well done, Seymour. I can't wait to see him. No, don't get Joe Felix, man. Got was better. Starts way better overall. Best player, honestly, really, really good. Kick rear. Retaining position, moving difficult. Mwepu. Rowland. Pass it into Seymour. Sure on the ball. Chips in. McAllister. What an acrobatic effort with the foot, but. Tough, heavy touch. Mamadou Loom. Rioja. And he could really get at the opposition. Loom now. Now they are to intercept. Do it then. Cucurella. Of room in the wide area. So, what you criminal you know, free kick awarded so by the referee? Oh, He's given it straight to the opposition. Jose Lu. That's right. Jose Lu. A creative look about this. Pere Ponce, still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Laid into the box. And a goal kick will be next. Well, as the stats tell us, Brighton have been second best in terms of possession, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. 
Roland. Yo, swap the Hemi for Alexander Ronald. It's better potential. Chance to finish. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so yeah, good there. That's a fantastic stop. Yeah, but hakimi has got lower potential at 87 and Alexander has got 92, so that'd be so much better for United. He just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Well, great read there to intercept. Good chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Well, I think fair to say, Stuart, not one for his personal scrapbook. Well, that's really wayward. His technique completely let him down there. And a strong tackle. That is that for the first half here. Teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. A real opening now. Big chance it is. Keeper getting the touch. What an important piece of defending. Who can he pick out? And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Dunk. Good take under duress there. There's been so much speculation in terms of whether the transfer would go ahead, but it will go ahead, Stuart. Well, he's certainly got ability. A lot of clubs have been in for him, but now he needs to fulfill that potential. He might just have to be patient, though. And space to cross it. Now sliding in field. Terrific piece of anticipation. In behind for him to chase. And just has to remain calm. In it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, a second goal for them here. This is looking threatening. Chance to cross. Possession given away. Wonderfully weighted pass. And running in behind. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. How can he take them on and beat them? Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Well, those stats back up what we've been watching. It's been a really one-sided game. And it's far too easy for them to open up this defence. This could turn into a rout. Into the final 20 minutes. Possession one. He's in with a chance. It has to be, surely. There it is. The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3 0 now. A 
and does well to keep it in play. Mamadou Loum. Getting in there to take it away. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep him.
And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. Might be a chance here. In it goes! That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Now the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Ziku. Belga. Wanted to keep it but couldn't. Bisuma. And he's made headway. Oh, a save of the highest order. Well, he got his angles absolutely right. What a good save that is. And there's the delivery. And clearing it away. Well, they need to get tighter. A goal! He's dispatched it. Much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, a second goal for them here. Gilbert bad pass a real opening now surely and there it is another goal
Well, a lot to like about this particular weather day here in Amsterdam at the Johan Cruyff Arena. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And we have action from the semi-finals. Can he do it? And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Zegrova. Possession one. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. And space here on the flank. Ball is loose. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Corner kick played in. Still not clear. Cucurella and beating the defender. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Foiling them effectively. Well, there's been quite the focus on him coming into today's game, taking on his old club, and that can bring with it a few complications. Well, for some reason, playing against your old club can be difficult. You just feel that bit of added pressure. I hope it doesn't affect him today. David. Zegrova has it. That's how to rob them of possession. Oh, could be. Oh, good work by the keeper. Now, how about the short corner? Jalo. Stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. Neil Mopé. Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. It's a fantastic save to keep it all square. Now oh, the pass not finding its target. Might be able to get in behind the defence. What a vital intervention! Enoch Mwepu. It should be! And a goal! To open the scoring! No wonder they're celebrating! And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Difficult to stop him. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. of goalkeeping here it is now a substitution who can he pick out well, a bit short with the clearance Crosar and that goes down as a very disappointing attempt well the keeper can't believe his luck that's a really poor effort well I don't think they've been at it today but maybe, just maybe, that great save will inspire them now. Beautifully weighted ball. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Can he find the net? Oh, back at the net! And a debut goal to boot. It doesn't get much better than that. That is that for the first time.
Hello and welcome to Amsterdam. We're in position here at the Johan Cruyff Arena. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we have action from the pre-season final just seconds away. It's Strasbourg versus Brighton and Hove Albion. Well, it's been a really good tournament so far, Derek. Let's hope the final can do it justice. The quality of football and entertainment has been excellent. Might be a chance here. Oh, marvellous goalkeeping. Well, it's a top-class save from a top-class goalkeeper. That's absolutely brilliant. Tech training, contracts, and tactics. A real opening now. Well, if only he had timed his run slightly better. Offside. Yeah, stop worrying. He's doing good. I think go ahead for long of My socks. Kind of hope a bit, but... Well, it's time. Racing away here. Yeah. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Well, real excitement here. I say that because it's his long awaited debut coming up. Watch Derek, it. this could be a goal here. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Back and all seven. <sighs> Next episode. Sanyin mm. Percic. Well, it could be on for him here. And never in any doubt from the keeper. Finally gathered by the keeper. Well, that's a really good recovery. He had to be smart there. Bisuma. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. And it's in! And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Surely! Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Who can they pick out? So 2-0 now. An awful lot of green space to run into. It needs an accurate cross. Well, the pass not finding its target. Real chance. It's opened up for him. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. Thomason, Sizoko, Thomason. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Well, as you can see, Brighton are controlling the possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Well, possibilities inside the box. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. The timing was perfect. Ball one. Gilbert. And they need to get tighter here. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, the keeper was always likely to do his job under no pressure. Cucurella. And so it is the first half stop.
teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Ziku. Gersino Niamsi. And now Thomason. Le Marchand. Thomason. Gamera. We've got all played warm to know we just, yeah. Well, a story that's been covered extensively on television and the newspapers and on social media. Angel Correa has completed his move to Spurs. Yeah, at that price, I think he's value for money. He'll certainly improve their squad and maybe the team. It's a good signing, you have to say. This episode is happening. Gamera. It's the next episode of just a tiny ball. Season. Oh, that is a majestic goal! I could see him holding on with precision and style. Superbly done. The action continues. Steam has got a big block. He's on a three. Whereas normally I go a wing club. So I'm a field group, but soon people try to get one plus five minutes. He'll probably get at least a plus two or three rain or four rain. On to Dicassi. No. Hopefully he goes up by a decent amount because. And they'll be happy to have regained possession. So is Mope. Getting the better of his opponents. And his teammate got him out of trouble. Gameiro. Ludovic Ajark. Wanted to keep it but couldn't. And that pass could be troublesome. He's Have managed to get in behind. Oh, oh he didn't pass it to Rule. Able to think close down the shot. I think they will just let him. Gameiro. This might have potential. Gameiro. Possession and patience, the watchwords. Can they get in behind them? Sanyin Percic. And a strong tackle. Well, as the stats tell us, Brighton have been second best in terms of possession. But when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. And a decent save. Full credit. And over comes the corner. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Chance to do damage. Well, tremendous block. Oh, good-looking run. Yeah. And turned oh, onto oh, the woodwork. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, High pressing at its best. Read it superbly to take back possession. A chance maybe from the wide position. And a fine stop. Two on three kicking out first. The first goal we see for Brighton is good. No. Aholu. And so into the final five minutes. Ludovic Ajo. Who is that? Oh, this is looking promising. Brilliant. Let's see him. Right. Here it is now, a substitution. Fine. Yeah. Trying to pick out a teammate. And a struggle to get it away properly. Okay, that's got to be a Well, goal. they can bring it out now. No, hang on. Are they from there Champions? Will be one that minute will be added on at the end. Can he put it away? There's the goal! I don't know. Would well, champion be in tracky bottoms or not? Because where else are you can get from champion? Oh, the top. Because you did ask me at one time about what colour ones. I don't mind. So you never know. 
But hey, Champion Eggs is a good well, part. Here's the replay, and cap. just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball also, back. But you do have... And there goes the final whistle. Winning any pre-season tournament serves as a big morale booster, Stuart. Well, it certainly does, Derek. It's a good win for them and great preparation for the season ahead. The manager will be pleased with this. He's got a lot of good things to take from this tournament. They've been outstanding. Yes, laying down a marker with the campaign proper in mind. Absolutely ideal. Well, it might only be a pre-season tournament, but it's always special to come out on top. And you can see just how happy the players are. Look at those celebrations. Let's go for you. Who's the captain? Oh. Whatever the fuck's the captain is, isn't it? Who the hell's the captain? Is the hundred in it? Brian smashed him in the thing. Brilliant. That aim is too expensive for like. No. <laughs> nah, man, he's. To be fair, we're not too far affording him, but realistically, do we actually need him? Probably not. Look, because what I'll do then is I'd put Roland to, you know, a cam, and then I'd put, I mean, I'd put Roland to a cam, I'd put, um, obviously him there. How old is McAllister? 22. So, very interesting. Yep, and now it's just training. Did I not put? I didn't put it in training, did I? Yep. Yay. I have to rest day before or recovery day after or whatever. And now it's just training, 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 training. Well, hey, we're on the final stretch, which is good. Yeah, all for you guys. Oh, a whole lot. And basically, by the end of this episode, I want to be just really ready. Nothing left to do for the team. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's easy, I'm thinking then. But I've got to do all the training drills, which I think we've done three training drill days, so we've done nine, which is um, 20. 24 left, isn't it? That's 24 training drills. Which isn't too shabby, but. Which should be eight days. Anyway, and then we get your like, new technology and stuff, and you point book quiz, and you can have what's safe enough from 11, like 12. Not too easy to control them, so you go, oh yeah, come off 11. I'm like, no, because when you get a new tool, you get like a better one, didn't you? Because well, I would only get one that was worse than what you had. And look right. It's crazy. The change is not too bad, I mean, we've done so many times now, but hey, it's, it's worth it. I mean, you do get a lot of training, you know, and a lot of match, yeah, we're fixing the teams up. I think the training at the end, yeah, we've done everything we need to do. Yep, we've done everything we need to do in terms of selling, buying, selling players, I think, or in terms of, like, well, you know what I mean? All the transfer business we've done is now just off any reselling players, but we don't need to bring any else in. Yep, the task completed. Yep, now we need to buy a few players. Yes, obviously anything I'm going to be changing because I don't want you. I should get these on because I'm going to put off the end, not many of them, is there? We're doing what, about 21 left, I'd say now? So yeah. But yes, there's are still things need to be done, but. You know. Yeah, we'll get, no, all the ones that aren't there. Oh, that's the ones I hate first. Get them all out of the day and then 
Uh, yes, because once they're all done. Oh, fuck, I've got this tram for oh, fuck's sake. Because oh, when they're all done, that's it, innit? You know, if there's any drills, it'd be the easy ones. And you shouldn't have arguably too much trouble with them. How, how did but Patino deserves to be 90 rated? There's no way in Tom Jackson Harris Patino was just allowed to walk straight through a pass, did not get bullied off the ball, and then just proceeds to kick it in the net. I'm like, Patino legendary. <laughs> he's really good though, like, he's called the central. I mean, he's more of a glory team because of his 64 rating. We well, yeah, obviously was 85 rated, whereas Trench was straight away, yeah, be Premier League circuit, but. Red Glory, he'd be brilliant. Mm -hmm. I think I'll start off with Liverpool next FIFA. Mm -hmm. We don't know. Do we normally re reel the game in July? Or do we sometimes in June, sometimes in July? No, I thought it was big in it. If his last game, what was him called FIFA, I'm presuming the mechanics will be the same in EFC, which admittedly I hate the name of. What, why would you call it EFC? If you're not catching it, FIFA it just sounds so much better. But why would you want it to be? You know I mean, why would you want EA Sports FC? It's just no. It's just a horrible name. It's unfair that they can just foul you off the ball, like completely take you out, but doesn't matter you know doesn't impact you at all. You don't get another chance. I think you should have another chance. How many do on the drills? The drill just as you want, just gets progressively more difficult. Like the players become just more overpowered. It's like what? How are you getting these? But why did you run there? The, oh my god! Okay, oh, I give up. I really do. Like, I really do. <laughs> this is just awful, man. It sucks. I thought I would have got to be on A. Just just no. I thought we should have got a C. You know, I thought we'd done mad, but. Oh, we still can. It's not impossible to do well. No, oh, still pretty good though. But again, any of your hate, long as you see, that's good enough for me. Because you know, at least you pass, and you get more pluses than you do. I think it like for B, for D, if you just see me, you get a plus two, and that sharpness thing. You get a plus four, I think, for a season. It then it's like plus seven. For B, and then if it's an A, it's plus 10 or like plus 12, I think. If it obviously, suppose like it's. I don't know. I suppose it's like the right position that's playing that drill, I suppose. Something like that. So, yeah, obviously, getting an A is the best, but again, it's, it's something that's hard. Some drills are really, really hard to get A's on. Oh, wait, some are just so easy. Some of them are literally, you know, will be easy, but some, however, are really difficult. Like, right? some drills are just. Insane, really hard to feed, you know, completely perfect it and get get an A. Have I got even? I don't know. I think I've got A on count up and I ran away before. Not this one. This one, I think, is like when you get the ball and you do stuff, it's actually not as bad. It's hard to get a C or something like that. Excuse me, what? We got the ball back. Why did you not allow us to counter attack? Why, why, why is it you got the ball bang his thousand points? That was it. What? Okay, that's everything. No, because I hate the kind of stupid difficulty they make the players. It's really easy for saying, it makes no sense. Good, like there's crowd stuff, bro. I thought we should play. Nah, this was bugged. This all has to be bugged. What? When you hit the ball back, you mean let him counter attack. You know, just that city you've got the ball back, you end the drill. Because it's not a good counter attacking scenario, then, is it? Because we're not actually doing any counter attacking. We're literally just getting the ball back and then you're just ending that attempt, and that's it. Then you're next trial. Miles Call is just defending scenario, really, because this is all really it is if you're just going to end it after we get the ball back. If we do. I would like, I think if we did somehow get the ball back here, we'd. Mm, that's perfect. Let's just save the drill so we know. That's, I will maybe do an England World Cup mini series because obviously for City, you know, we ended it 
we had England job and we were in the World Cup. I think I we will do. We'll come back and we'll do. Uh, what? The reason for saying those, yes, because if you watch this, I mean, it's whole dream. No, we were doing preseason tournaments, so only now we're doing drills. I remember just picking any drills, just to get anything done, because as soon as the drills are done, it's a lot easier from there, because all those tactics. Again, it is absolute drivel. I'm tempted half not to, or maybe just on some players, change just some aspects, but not really go for every single player and put everyone right in the same tax month. Maybe it's just high fun. Rig, that's what I hate in new games, there's rig more like crazy, I've got all these annoying things you have to get done before. You know, this season starts and you can just kind of get on what you're doing. Oh, well, you don't have to. You don't have to put tactics on. You can't just simulate all training. You just be players when you get started. That's all, yeah. I tend to get rid of some of the material. We have too many, bro. We have way too many. I think like, most of the players we literally want to sell have been sold. So, any money we have now. Yes, unfortunately, it would be all we have to sign anyone else if we were to do it, which I don't think we do. Not really. But then again, do we need to go in for Adeyemi? Do we need Adeyemi on the wing? We were going to, weren't we? I, I'll say, I'll look at our money, I'll. We'll see at the start of the season. If we've got any more player sales or anything like that going on, we'll have a look. We'll have a quick look to see if we can indeed. Yeah, but again, it's just a value. It means we, we would have to give him someone else. Like, there's no count on that. We would have to give them someone else in order to get him because I can see it costing us at least 17 million, potentially. But it's got a release clause. You know that you can get him obviously for less than. Say, if a release clause is like 17 million, you mean you'll be from his value to his release clause will probably be what you'd have to pay to get him. I do just want this over. I do, but I, I'm, I'm not just gonna, you know. I don't know, but I'm not gonna, um. Just do some of them and the like the rest of them, no. I'm doing every training drill, then we're gonna focus on tactics and get all that crap done, and then we're gonna go look at contracts and then. Why is it so hard to do? I don't get why some drills are just unnecessarily hard. They are, there's nothing you can do, it's just got to kick it and hope to cheat the team gets to it, which is annoying, because like, you've heard too many times, you know, I have to then do it another day, which means there'll be added, added crap to do for training, and we have to do as minor as annoying drill again. Oh my god, seriously, can you guys just guide me where you want me to put the ball, because it, it doesn't seem like where I'm putting it, nothing's happening. You, 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 why are you always missing it? What the hell? Yeah, let's keep going. Meaning, yes, we literally would have to make this. We have to get contact with this ball. We don't know if we lose. Yep, no, look. My fucking god, this is mindless. Because honestly, it is. The, the drills are so mindless, but once you've done them, it's so much easier. Oh, Someone's really question like, is it right? It's very questionable if it's like training or not. But I hate this draw. Honestly, this already so far is just my worst. Oh for fuck! So what? I got the ball back. I'm presuming the best way is we'd have to get get the ball and we have to head it, head it in the net. But I thought, yes, but these players are literally completely useless. Oh, well, okay. So maybe if I put it to the, the feet of the player, maybe they go for it more. Maybe they actually get the ball. Well, it worked that one time. Yay. We need one of you to make contact. We need one of you to make contact if not get it in the net. That's all we need just to do. 
Why is it so hard for this drill to even work properly? I don't get it. Oh my god. We did it guys, we actually did it. Let's go. No. Yo, hi Karen. Well, as you can see, we're still streaming and doing training drills, so, um, we can call if you want. I mean, I honestly don't mind. We can have, we can call. That's fine with me. It will just be training drills. Because, um, we have finished the pre-season calling now, and now it's just training drill, training drill, training drill, until the season. We might see if we can sign Adeyemi. I mean, and then we can move our you guys for Cam, because I think that'd be kind of good. I'll be really good, actually. Mm. Oh, and again. Yeah, boy. What's I'm really like? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess so. That works. Yeah, right, so who do we want to just get rid of, who we're just not going to use? What have we got with wings then? We've got Rowland, we'd have... Do we give him Trossard? Maybe we can give him Trossard, you know? They'd, they'd definitely take that. Yes! What? Oh. Yeah, well, well, you, you may actually want to start him. You may, may as well start him on a wing or something. Why would you say that now? Uh-huh, no. So you played another pre-season match? No, the pre-season's done. Now it's just the training drills. Oh, we'll sell Trossard now, it doesn't matter. It's gone. Well, I can't do anything about it now, can I? And Ayumi, yes, but I don't have 20 million now. I don't have 20 million pounds to just go sign him back. Oh, yeah, hang on. What's... So, what do we want to do with him? Yep, but you know what? That's, that's, that's what we're going to put him as. Brilliant. Yes, right. Rowland, now, I need you to do. I need you to change. I need you, buddy, to be a cam. But I don't know. Um. Where, where is he? Am I blind? Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm an idiot. What am I doing? Add me, I need you to, I need you to do, um, I need you to be left winger first before, before you start going crazy. Um, right. Might as well, honestly, why not? I think, look, look at our front four, though. Right, so we've got us back up. Cam, we have a guy, don't we? Or am I blind? Maybe he's holding. Start what? Well, I thought, why not? They've got good talent in their team, especially about Seamer and stuff, so... Fuck, honestly. Right, let's get these shitty ones done. Right, what map are we doing on Cold War then? Okay. High rounds or Easter egg? Um, 
What's the guard while you're waiting? Well, you got plenty of time before we, before we start the game, so, you know, study up. Well, I've already seen it. It's a good movie. Go watch it. Boom. Have you seen the other ones? Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. I've watched all series. Well, you watched all five so far, then? Yeah. Have you seen Minions, The Rise of Gru? That's a really good movie. I recommend that to go watch it. Minions, The Rise of Gru. It's really good. The what? Uh, four. Uh, I don't understand. Four. You know the, the Marvel superhero. Four? Yeah, yeah, the one with that uh, the hammer. There's a Marvel villain with a hammer called Four? Oh yeah. What is there? Is there? What is the psychic five? Huh? I, I'm, I, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Neither do I. I don't know who the hell four is. So what's the point? Well, I'm sure maybe I'll see it at some point. But honestly, I'm just kind of chilling watching the other Marvel movies. Have you seen Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that one's really good. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah, really good. Have you seen all the films, then? Because every time I see a film, you straight away, within a week, go and see it. Yeah, yeah, I've got to see my final, so, yeah. Why? So expensive, man. Yeah, you do as well, though. Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, but you see pretty much any film in the cinema within like a week. Yeah. Fuck's sake. You know what? I'm, I'm going up. Honestly, I've got to check this four guy out, man. Do you mean phase four of Marvel? The what, sorry? Do you mean phase four? Phase four? Yeah. That's the only four I can think of. I don't know who the hell four is. You mean Zeus? No. That sounds like Zeus, mate. That really does. No one is called four. Right then, I'll type in Marvel Four then. Oh, you mean Fantastic Four? No, it's not Marvel, is it? I don't know. Oh, man alive! Ugh. There you go, got some left. That's good. On the next. Kieran, do you mean I'm fantastic for? No. Kieran, just look at the Easter egg guy. Let's not talk about whoever the hell four is. <laughs> Who the fuck's four? <laughs> no, what's the guide? I'm playing FIFA. I ain't Googling who the hell four is. Well, Kieran, I've been doing this for like two hours, doing the pre-season tournament, 
all the training drills, all the rigmarole at the start of the season. That's what I'm doing first. Getting it done. And I'm not even that far off, really, which is pretty nice. Are you watching the guide then, Kevin? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you are. Who the fuck's fool? <laughs> what the hell? Who he is? Okay, there's a guy called Four. The number four. What about every Marvel character is a good person? Scarlet Witch wasn't. Isn't. Is. I don't know. No, he's not a human, is he? He's from, um. He, he's from a different planet. Yeah, well, you've got a brother called Loki, but Loki's bad. Well, there you go. All Marvel characters aren't good then. Well, if he's bad, it might have rubbed off on his brother. Kieran, have you seen One Division? No. That's really good. That is really good. So what, what, what is there now, um, the Scarlet Witch. Um, have you seen Ms. Marvel? Man, you're missing out. These are really, really good series. They are very, very good. Man, these drills never end, but oh well. If I don't... What? Oh. What, you looking at the guide now? Yeah, oh, who, who are you watching? Uh, Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Who the hell is Mr. Waffles? Ruffle Waffles. Yeah, who's Ruffle Waffle? Sure are you just making Pete things up, man? Oh, it must be good then. Come on, guys. We... Mm, no, I'm not. Man, are you on something, man? I don't know who the hell Fort is. Must be a new guy then. I don't know a guy called Four, Kieran. Who knows a guy called Four? Well, that's the other thing. You know, then that other one, um, say, like, where he was on about Fortnite, he was, he was the one that was, um, because Four was in one of the other Marvel films, and, uh, someone was playing Fortnite in the background, and then he was. Ha! <laughs> that was actually funny! Yeah, he watched, yeah, he, he watched a film with Four, eh? Well, yeah, I might have watched the Four with him in, but I don't know who he is, though. I will come down to your basement. I will come down to your basement you're living in. <laughs> That's Thor? Yeah. Cool. Nice. Didn't know his name was... I'm pretty sure... Uh, Kira, have you seen every Marvel film? Yeah. You've seen every Marvel film ever made? 
No, there's no way you've watched every single Marvel film. Why is um, the, the beat the goalie drill the most hardest drill known to man? I don't understand this. I'm finding it impossible. I can't even get a C on it. It's way too difficult. Even for any player, it's so unbelievable hard. Oh, that's the problem. I'm not good at timing them. Yes, I got a C. Let's go. Now the hardest drill in the whole game. Merry-go-round. Who likes merry-go-round? Nobody. Okay, Team Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah, that I've had a lot. I don't understand that. Like, I think it's when you do well in the drill, it that makes it way too hard. So why? I mean. You know, been for all the crap of the extremely ridiculously hard drills. I think you should do a Norwich career mode next, FIFA. Or Nottingham Forest. We gotta see. Yeah, you might do Norwich, because they're in the championship, so it could be your little mini road to glory. Oh, don't mean to be bloody burn left. Oh, that'd be easy, man. I have a really fun challenge, Kieran, you could do. Put United in the um, League 2 and then just play through that. Oh no, that's what no 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 that's what I meant. You should put them in League Two, but you should get rid of all the best players. So just the youngsters remain. You have to rebuild them from the ground up. Do you understand all of the steps? That many? This is like the shortest Easter egg out of the whole game. Like, Forsaken's the easiest by a mile. Yeah, I know, but it wouldn't be better to start off with one so you can save your points and get set up quickly by buying perks and pack a punch rather than spending it all in the box trying to get a purple gun. Yeah, but like, it's only not like just get back easily. Yeah, but better to start off with a purple gun because then you do damage. Did you know they increased it? Kieran, did you know they increased it? So if you start with a purple gun, it does more damage than if you get a purple gun from the box. Okay. So like, the gun you start off with would do more damage if you got a purple rarity, that gun from the box. So if you start with a purple gallo, and then you bought a purple gallo from the wall, your gallo that you started with would do more than that gallo. So, yo. So yeah. You do it, you get a massive advantage over everything else because your gun does extra damage. Now we attempted. Oh, now we attempted. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Well, if you get an extra damage. Ruff ruffles? Ruffle waffles. Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. Here is your no-nonsense guide. Yeah, I, I do know who Mr. Ruffle. 
Oh, I was just messing banter. Ah! <laughs> I just ran straight in the bows. One love. Hi guys, Mr. Rockwaffles here. Here is your no nonsense guide to the Forsaken Easter egg quest. To start with, turn the power on. Then you go to this red button after doing lock. What? Well, it is because he doesn't want to give you some crap. He wants to go straight to the point. You turn the power on, and you do this, you're done. He's reckon. No nonsense. No nonsense. The no nonsense guide. <laughs> okay, and I have a good idea for you if you want me to do it. In my city career mode, you know how I got the England offer? Yeah. Do you want me to go back to it and do the World Cup with England as a mini series? Honestly, I think the, the national teams are rubbish in this, aren't they? Hi guys, Mr. Ruff Waffles here. Welcome to the No Nonce Guide. <laughs> oh, thank you, boy. Kira, I saw you see me can. See me can from the Leipzig. Oh, okay. And Kieran, this is the last two drills. Way! Yeah, yeah, baby. Finally, we're done. Finally, we're gonna be done. The training drills. Then we're gonna do some contracts and put some development. No, not that. I mean, do some tactics. After the tactics, then we end the episode. Kieran, I swear, do not watch how to build the wonder weapon. <laughs> Good to know. But if you can't grasp the Easter egg, I don't think watching a completely wrong guide is gonna help you in any shape or form. Kieran? Kieran, I know what you should do. If you're on my channel, I soloed the Forsaken Easter egg, so go watch it on my channel. Literally, it's a full gameplay of me doing it from start to finish. Well, no, but you might get an idea where to go, some tips and tricks and stuff like that. Yeah, what's the guide first? The condensed down one. Oh my god! Stop hitting the net, Magiki! You're mad! Yeah, so I just need to be quickly straight before you know, I've got a hair. Yeah, here it was the no nonce guide, innit? Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, Mr. Ruffles here. Can I have a really funny joke? What? You know Mr. Baker at your school, yeah? Imagine before the interview where he comes in the building and um, there's a PA system going, Hi guys, Mr. Ruffles here. This is a no nonce school. Yeah. Yeah, it be okay. <laughs> that would be sick, wouldn't it? Yeah. We had that our school as well. Okay, Ron, what do you say, Gil and that? No, I'm not about, like, you know, obviously, what Mr. Baker, he was a sleeper, like, I'm sleeper night, but he was, like, you know, not worried about getting away with it and stuff like that. We had that article, a guy called Mr. Willie Mott. Okay. Oh, yeah, he was that as well. Apparently, he liked pictures of all of us, and, um, yeah. he had them at home. Well, to be fair, I don't know how they got in the school. They must have not done good background checks, wouldn't they? Yeah. Well, I'll say what was, but obviously you'd be quite excited and have a bad history there, but just something I've seen brainwashed him into doing it. So they brainwashed him? What kind of person, what sort of sicko goes into doing that?
Why wouldn't you be guilty about doing what you're doing? Like, think logically. Why would you do that? Like, why would you be a pedo? Same with Kurt Zuma and hitting his cat. Hmm. Like how, bro? You just filmed a video of you literally taking a free kick with your cat instead of a ball. I was gonna say, he literally took a free kick as his cat as the football. And then just on the counter, slap. Like, bro, how are you? How, what kind of sicko is that? Well, I don't think if you get an animal and take a free kick with them instead of down the football, you kick them. I don't think that's a good idea. Sicko, isn't it? Okay, and how's the guide going? Are you looking to do the Easter egg low round as possible, or do you want to just do the Easter egg once you're fully ready to go? Um, well, do you want to do the whole Easter egg um, low round, or do you want to do it like just whenever you're ready? Well, two people don't necessarily need the one weapon, but you need it to do the steps. So I'll agree one of you needs it. Well, yeah, I mean, because if you've got a weapon that does more damage than the Cerberus, like pack one. Like, yo. Okay, I have amazing news. The training drills are done. All I've got to do is literally put a tactic on my team sheet, skim through a contract, then I'm ready, okay? That's literally all I've got to do. Right. And then I want to bypass it because, again, we've done all the drills. We don't need to do anything anymore. And then I want to schedule intermittent training, put it all back to regular training. Then... Right. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Huh. Huh, wrong team. Pressure and pressure off. I filled up. More pair. Stay central. Getting behind. Aggressive interceptions. Stay forward. Right. No, you can't have defense support. Get into box. Free room. That. Fine with me. Getting behind, done. Any more pedos, whatever at your school you had? Karen, did you have any other pedos at your school? Did you have any any other pedophiles at your school? Yeah, <laughs> he got he got reported, mate. Yeah. He got yeah. voted. Kieran, yeah. he got voted. He got voted, mate. Okay.
Hej. Hvor er din Charles til at gøre den? Ja. Okay. Next episode, guys. Uh, yeah, finally done. Next episode, we'll start the um, season off, okay? Yeah.